Dream King Films. We're here with Gamble Roger Steen, Ray's head coach, Matt Potak. Hey, coach, y'all here on the field uh, getting so out there against the uh, yeah. Fruit Cold Flyers. Coach, real yeah. quick, just give me your thoughts on today's scrimmage action. Oh, it's great. You know, right now we're in a delay, but we're, you know, our first team groups went a couple series with theirs, and now we're back into the second group, the younger guys. Uh, I'm just so blessed. We're just so blessed to be out here. Um, as I said before, you know, our association, um, you know, Justin Balsadi, our president, and, and, you know, Eric Weatherly, our vice president, uh, Jason Cutler, our football commissioner, who I bug every day, um, and Dan Davenport. Those guys have just come together and come up with a great safety plan for us, and, and we're just blessed to be out on the field. I, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see the kids out here in the community, um, and, and it's, been a, you know, it's been a tough year, but I think you know, having the parents out here watching their kids, enjoying some scrimmage in tonight, it, it just it helps bring back some normalcy, and that's what we need. Yeah, Coach, speaking of that, how difficult was it rallying this community together to ultimately get back out here on the field? It, it wasn't hard. You know, we, we've got great parents, and I've said that, you know, it's it's we won county, we've won two county championships the last three years because of the parents, because of our community, our, our athletic department. I mean, it, our athletic director at school, Mr. Coach Living Good, and, and everybody, you know, involved in our program, all our assistant coaches, and and we, we had parents, you know, ready. As soon as the governor lifted that order and allowed youth sports back, I mean, we were ready to go, and we had it. We had to do tryouts in June this year, so we're, we're a little behind. Um, you know, we didn't have spring football, but uh, the parents really made it easy. They've helped us so much with our safety plans and with our masks and, you know, wiping out equipment, keeping the kids distance and separated. And it's just been really, my, I mean, it's just, it's all about the community. Coach, can you talk about that a little bit more? Some of the safety precautions y'all been taking over these past yeah. few weeks to ultimately be out here on the field? Yeah, we wear masks every day, every practice. Coaches definitely, because obviously, you know, we're yelling a lot. So we've got to cover up our faces. Um, you know, we have a, a parent, uh, one of our moms owns a janitorial company, uh, Jesse Lennon. And uh, she, you know, she has donated a bunch of equipment for us. We're wiping down stuff. You know, we have Amy Bond, we have Sabrina Anderson. We've got so many parents that are highly involved in, in wiping things down and helping make sure the kids are safe and, and then keeping an eye on us and make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do because we've got to be coached up as coaches too to, to make sure that we're wearing the masks and things like that. But, you know, those are the big precautions, keeping the kids in smaller groups, not bunched together and just, just having fun and, and, you know, just one day at a time, open line of communication too. You know, if anybody has any concerns, you know, come talk to us. It's just a, it's, it's just open lines of communications. Yes, sir. Coach, do y'all got one uniform uh, set of guidelines that all the schools follow throughout the county? Yes, yeah. SJMSA did a great job. Um, Jason Cutler put it together. Justin Palsati uh, and Dan uh, Davenport, they put it all together. And, um, you know, we all, coaches chimed, chimed in a little bit on some ideas and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it's a uniform code. Uh, we follow a lot of what the school district follows. But we also added some things for what George is doing in South Carolina. Um, and, and FHSA, we, we kind of put it all together to make it really safe. Uh, we've had great numbers. You know, we've had the most, our attendance has been great. And I know a lot of the other schools, I've talked to a lot of other coaches here in the county, attendance has been very good. And, and you know, the kids are staying safe. That's the whole whole point of it, keep them safe um, physically and mentally. Yes, sir, Coach, for any um, coach around the state or the country that may need that information to get call his me. program going. Yeah, 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 uh, call us. What's your uh, email or anything? Uh, M underscore P-O-T-A-K at yahoo.com. Call us. Yeah, or, or go on the sjmsaa.com website, and there's there's protocols there, and then our emails are on there. So I, I think it's good for us all to kind of work together. Youth football has been starting back up. I know Jacksonville's been having some big games yes, like sir. Fort Lauderdale, and they've been doing very similar stuff to what we're doing because we've reached out to a lot of coaches. You know, you have social media now. Uh, which is so easy to just reach out to a coach and say, hey, what are you guys doing that we're not doing? And it's all about benefiting each other and keeping these kids on the field because they, they want to be with their brothers on the field. They want to be with their friends. And if we could do it in a safe environment, let's do it. You know, and we don't play out of county. That's another blessing. You know, I'd love to go play out of county, but it keeps us safe. We're in county. It's just, you know, San Jose County's big, but it's not, it's not humongous. We're able to stay together and, and work together. And, and uh, but my hat's off to the, to the board at SJMSAA. Um, Jason Cutler, man, he deserves a lot of credit also, our football commissioner. Um, I mean, every day, you'd be surprised. I mean, we're all volunteers, but every day it's like a full-time job trying to come up with ideas. And I talked to a parent today just coming up with some, some things we're going to do where kids are going to stand on certain mats during the games and they're going to be spread apart and they're going to stay on their mat. Just things like that, you know. So it's it's just, you know, sometimes more ideas the better. Yes, sir, Coach. Speaking of that, the FHSA big uh, they decision on the uh, 14th. Yeah. Uh, Coach, do you got any suggestions, any solutions for them? Hey, Coach? I can send them. Uh, I can send them what we're doing. Um, I'm really hoping that they they come up with something. Um, you know, we've got a lot of kids that played for us that are they're going to be. Um, you know, some are in college now, and some are going to be seniors in high school right now. Um, some of our best kids 
um, that I have great relationships with, and they're out here tonight watching us play, um, and they need their senior year. And, and, and I mean, I'm pleading with the FHS. I, I hope they can do something. I, I know we're, we live in the United States of America. We can come together and we can figure it out. We just got to work together. Um, but I've seen it firsthand. I mean, this is a life-changing endeavor, coaching, uh, playing football. If I didn't play football as a young kid, I don't, I don't know where I'd be right now. And I know a lot of our coaches are the same way. And with the kids that we have, I mean, it's, it's more than a game. I mean, it's the relationships you build along the way. And I think if we can come together and, and make it work, let's do it. Yes, sir, Coach. Let's move over to the football yeah. side of the football side of things real quick. Uh, just talk about how hard you've been pushing these steam rays over this past oh, it's few been, weeks. It's been intense. You know, our coaching staff is phenomenal. We, we upped, got a few extra newer coaches that are joining us. We got some older coaches that have been with us for a long time. Um, you know, I, I'm just so proud of them because it starts with our coaching staff. Um, you know, we got a great crew this year. They're doing great things with kids and their positions. And uh, we've had to go a little bit faster than we've wanted to. Normally, we start in the spring and have a little bit of time and go into summer. We hit the ground running in the summer and didn't look back. And uh, we're still following the guidelines, but we're still getting after it. We're still conditioning them hard. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it showed a little bit tonight. We still got some things we got to do to get better on, but I think we'll uh, continue to improve. Um, yeah, Coach, what, if anything, did you find out about your team today? Um, I think we're, we're doing very good uh, in all phases. But there's certain things we got to clean up. You know, there were some lined up wrong, certain plays. Luckily, we filmed everything. We got to line up better in certain areas. Um, but we'll get there. Mesh points got to be a little bit better. But uh, like I said, our coaching staff is going to watch the film. We're all going to look at it and uh, decide where to move forward. We still have a few more weeks till the season, September 2nd. So, um, but we'll keep going. You know, we, we won't be satisfied with this. We'll uh, we'll be hungry and want to get after it more. Yes, sir. Coach, you're running back. Not sure of his name. He Joseph had a, Soto. Justin Soto. Joseph he, Soto. Joseph. Justin Soto. Oh, yeah. Joseph. 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 Joseph Soto. Coach oh, yeah. Joseph Soto. Can't forget yeah. that. Joseph Soto. Yeah. Uh, he had a nice showing today. Coach, real quick, can you give him something on your playmaker? Oh, he's a great. I mean, I've had him since uh, he was in fifth grade, going into sixth grade in the spring. Uh, good friends with his mom, his whole family. Such great people. Uh, his uncle, Scooty Bryant, um, plays basketball. And uh, was it was a Division One basketball player? Yeah, yes, I think sir. he's at Georgia Southern now. Georgia Southern. Yeah. I think he went to UAB. Yeah, as well, yeah, he played at Providence High School. Yeah, yes, he played at Providence High School. Which yes, just a, and he was actually a great football. He played for the Stingrays back in 2000. I think 11 I or 12. That. Yeah, he started. You know, he was he was a quarterback for a little bit, but basketball was his passion. Yes, sir. You know, and he went to Providence and did really well there. So we're real proud of him. And Dustin Bryant, Gene Bryant, those are his uh, nephew, his uncles. Dustin was a phenomenal running back for Keith Cromwell up Menendez. Gene also was a dominant player. So and his mom's uh, awesome mom. She she gets on. Him, uh, great. I mean, uh, just a phenomenal person. Comes from a great family, and I've known him. I've known him since he was little. He he didn't know me till he got into like fifth grade, sixth grade. But when he was younger, I would see him watching his uncles play, and you know, and they 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 pass the torch on to him. And um, yeah, he's gonna line up in a lot of different spots offensively, defensively. He still plays linebacker for us. He did great tonight. But uh, I'm real proud of him. I'm proud of all of our eighth graders. Ben Johnson, Gage. Um, Anderson, I mean, I, I, a lot of those guys did, did very well tonight. Uh, you know, Jacob Davis, I mean, I, I, you know, there's so many more of them that did really well tonight and, and worked together and I'm just, you know. Yes, sir, Coach, a couple on that caught my eye. Your cornerback on the right-hand side, Evans. short guy, Ra yeah, Raymond Evans, Evans coach. Yep. Coach, yeah. tough fight the yeah. guy, Coach. Definitely That's getting it on, 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 on plenty of key tackles here in this scrimmage, Coach. Yeah. Can you just talk about your, uh, your oh, man? Another one, he's been with me since going into sixth grade. That's Coach Ron's uh, uh, cousin. That's Coach Ron's cousin. Yes, sir. And uh, so he's born football. He's bred football. Uh, Raymond used to be out here. He used to be our ball boy back when he was in like third grade. And, you know, he was so – he just a – he's a comedian too. So we love having him around. Great energy. But, yeah, he was he was click-clacking today. Um, and we got a little package for him on offense. Obviously, we don't want to show a whole lot of him on offense tonight. But as the season goes on, you'll you'll be seeing him lining up back there. Trenton also – I mean, we got a, we got a few playmakers. Um, you know, Aiden Brubaker who caught the touchdown. Uh, he's another big target. He'll probably take uh, Morbido's spot from last year. Um, and, obviously, Julian Quintero. Uh, some of those guys that were taller, Jason Watson, some of the, the athletic receivers we had. So we, we're hoping to be balanced and do it all, uh, run and pass, because you got you got to be balanced to win county championships. And we were that last year, so hope, we're hoping to do it again this year. Yes, sir, Coach. Uh, Frank and Morabito, a yeah. uh, big-time playmaker right there. As you know, he made our top 10 yeah. oh, on yeah. our top 100 oh, yeah. list. Coach, just, uh, can we get some updates on Frank? He's doing really well. I think he's going to be varsity in high school right now. Um, he's at Menendez. Um, so he's he's doing really well. Last I heard, he was doing pretty good. Um, I think he'll probably be varsity, but I'm not I'm not sure. Um, he's here tonight, actually, somewhere. But uh, I, that's why I, I love it how the alumni come back. Speaking of Frankie Julian's here, Jason Watson, you know they all come back. You know, Seth Stamps who won the county championship in 2017. He's out here. Um, 
you know, I thought I had a Bryce Addison sliding somewhere, the one who kicked the field goal. Yes, I, I thought he was out here, but he's not. But, um, but no, I, yeah, Frankie's doing well, Quintero, those guys are doing really well, and they're going to do good at, at the high school level. Yes, sir, Coach. Uh, speaking of the high school level, you got strong ties with Menendez, King, yeah. Benford, and a yeah, ton yeah. of those athletes. Coach, yeah. uh, how are your former athletes doing out there at uh, Menendez, They're Coach? doing really well. They're doing really well. You know, um, I, I've kept a little bit in contact. I mean, I keep in contact with the kids. Um, Coach, you know, we've – We've talked a little bit. Some of those guys, they're, they're doing really well. Dewan Graham, he was uh, he was our quarterback back in 2016 and played for us for three years. He's going to be, the, you know, he's one of the top tailbacks in the in the area. Banford obviously is back. Um, you know, you got Moses King, big Moses is, is out there. So, I mean, you got some some really good players. They're doing really well. You know, Aaron wins at St. Augustine right yes, now, sir. and he's doing really good there. Um, you know, I've heard great things about him. I, I think he'll do some some damage. Uh, and he was one of our top guys in 2017. So. Um, you know, sky's the limit for those kids. Um, you know, they've got a lot of them have gotten offers. I know Wynn's gotten several offers. I know Benford's gotten several offers, and uh, they still keep in contact with us. Yes, sir, Coach. Before we get out of here, uh, yeah. the whole county wants to know: uh, Can the Steen Rays get back uh, to the dance, and do y'all have a realistic shot of getting back there? Coach? I think so. I, I think so. I mean, I, you know, we're still early. I don't know what anyone's got right now, and that's another thing you don't really know. You don't really know what everybody's bringing to the table. Murray's going to be very good. Uh, Fruko's going to be very good. They're always physical. They've given us issues in the past. Um, you know, Landrum, Coach, you know, Coach Forum, they do, they do a great job. They're very physical. Um, so, you know, we're in the we're in the divisions now. They split it up. So we're going to be playing, you know, Murray twice, Pacetti Bay twice. So there'll be some tough tough games. I know Swiss got a new coach, so they're going to be doing some things differently. And uh, we're hoping to try to get a scrimmage going with somebody else here in a couple weeks. Hey, Coach, thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Love seeing you, man. Thank you for coming out here. Yeah, Appreciate thanks for coming you, Coach. Out. Yes, thank you. Hey, Philip, thanks again.